For most applications, we'll be transmitting our OFDM symbol through some physical medium, and as a result, uh, we're more likely than not going to be band limited and thus have some sort of dispersive channel. As a result, we need uh, basically a guard interval, and this is done in OFDM through the cyclic prefix. Uh, this is a really simple operation, and uh, while it may seem a little unorthodox, what we're doing, uh, I encourage you to check out the CNX module um, and convince yourself that what we're doing is okay and, uh, and actually quite simple. Um, and basically what we're going to be doing is taking the very end of our signal, some portion of it, and uh, placing it at the beginning. And we can do this because we have ex exactly one full period of our OFDM symbol. So let's start. Uh, we need to accept some number, a uh, percentage of a cyclic prefix, a number between 0 and 1, uh, 0 resulting in the original signal being passed through, and 1 resulting in a 100% cyclic prefix, so basically two periods of our OFDM symbol back to back. Next, of course, we need our original signal. And then we know what we're going to need to do is eventually concatenate um, the cyclic prefix with our original signal um, so we can go ahead and take care of that now and this is the the build array function and keep in mind again that when it comes out in general it may not have the concatenate inputs chosen and what it's going to try to do is build some sort of multi-dimensional array which is not what we want in our case so go ahead and right click and choose concatenate inputs and this is another function that you can scale up or down as necessary Next, we need to know the length of our original signal so that we can effectively um, decide where to to break um, our array in order to find the appropriate cyclic prefix. And so, as hinted to, we do need to have some sort of split array function where we're going to take the second part of the split, and that's going to ultimately end up being our cyclic prefix. Now, the question as to where to split it um, may seem a little unintuitive at first, but it's the way the split array command works. Um, but instead of uh, multiplying it by some ratio, we're actually going to be multiplying it by one minus some ratio. And so what we're basically going to do is take our index and take our cyclic prefix, again a number between 1 and 0, and then just create a constant here, 1. And so what's going to happen is we're going to take in our cyclic prefix and let's say for example we want a 25% cyclic prefix. Well, we don't want to multiply our the length by 25% and break it at that point because then we'd be stuck with the last 75% um, instead. And so what we need to do is take one minus that percentage uh, which would give us um, 75% and then when we multiply that by our original signal we're effectively going to be breaking it at the 75% mark and the last 25% which is what we want will come out of the split array function and we place that at the beginning of our original signal. Hopefully that's clear and if it's not go ahead and draw it out on a piece of paper it should help uh, visualize why we're splitting the array where we are. And with that, we have our correct output, our prefix signal. If you have any other questions, I encourage you to check out the CNX module or email the author.